Hey guys, so today we do have a new phone from Motorola. This is the Moto X4 uh, phone, which uh, I'm a big fan of the X series back in the day, uh, all the way from the X1, uh, the X2, and then we did have the X Pure, uh, I think X Style, and the X Play. So this is the X4 latest in the X line as you can see very nice blue box here uh, coming with some mid-range specs which you can get for about 250 euro where I am so very affordable and we're just going to unbox here have a look at it see what's on the table oh have some tape here Motorola seal of quality and this is the phone so let's just get it out here have a look uh, so we are getting uh, dual cameras here it seems and uh, 60 megapixel front facing cam water resistance 8 core processor 3000 mAh battery with your turbo charging so quite a nice proposition here gotta say look at that uh, very uh, nicely built at the back looks way more expensive than it should be uh, so you can see we do have minimal branding as well which is pretty good to see no Lenovo on there uh, we'll just peel this off and that is a screen so I don't think it's a bezel-less display but you know I'm not too fussed really as long as it's got a quite nice expansive display we we'll just put that there and have a look what else you get so in the booklet stuff I'm sure this is the same thing you used to read me nobody reads that and your turbo charger turbo power very fast based upon my experiences and your cable uh, so no headphones in the box but they do have to obviously make some cuts here and there uh, let's get it booted up here see the start shot I think uh, Motorola just recently updated the phone as well to Android 8, so that's very nice. Hello, Moto. So they're still using the same startup as the last Motorola that I checked out, which I think was the G5 or G5 Plus, one of the two. Uh, I don't think we have AMOLED display anymore, which is a little bit disappointing, but hopefully this IPS display isn't too bad uh, so we're just going to quickly go through the setup here just zoom in a little bit so let's uh, not use any networks for now and uh, privacy does that even exist anymore? I don't think so skip everything here fingerprint sensor very nice turn off location and we're all set oh so this is the display as you can see and that uh, is the max brightness here looks very decent indeed and has the typical Motorola circle some pre-installed apps as well like LinkedIn, Outlook so I think uh, Microsoft's got its paws on this handset uh, so you can see as I said not AMOLED but very decent in terms of viewing angles I think the brightness could be a little bit better overall on first impression let's just make sure the uh, auto brightness is off so yeah it is off turn that to 10 and 
let's see the Android so 7.1.1 but as I said I think you are getting Oreo here rolling out for this phone so that is quite nice uh, camera is also quite interesting on this one apparently it's coming with like a wide angle lens apparently and all these like smart features that you can do so let's just see here the interface uh, so typical size 12 megapixel and where is it depth enabled uh, professional mode so some good stuff here so let's just see if we can get something uh, so let's see I don't know if this is going to work but it could do so the shutter seems to be a little bit slow than what I would like you can see it took about two to three seconds to take a shot there uh, but the actual quality here seems very uh, decent if unremarkable I do remember the old Moto X uh, was pretty bad in terms of the camera so anything above that is a step up uh, so I think it does 4k video recording as well let's just double check that so where, where is the settings again there it is video there you go so that's quite nice to see on this price range uh, so I'll probably check out the camera see how it compares out and about let's just have a look at the stuff here that you do get on the device so you get one wallpaper which is a bit mean but you know it's quite a nice one nevertheless uh, the phone feels quite uh, responsive here you know coming in and out of stuff uh, I think it's coming with 3 gigs of RAM so not the highest but as you can see it seems to push the Android quite nicely and that uh, is what you need really uh, so yeah we'll do some videos on this one checking out the performance uh, just a quick unboxing of Moto X4 if you've got any questions let me know hope you found the video helpful and uh, is it dual sim that is a good question let's just see <laughs> it could be dual sim actually in some markets let's just get a pin because that could be quite useful for some people uh, so let's just go here I think it supports yeah so it supports your micro SD uh, but not dual sim I don't think in this market so yeah quick video of X4 uh, by Moto. Hope you did enjoy and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.